Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I will be demonstrating a brand new feature for Lightning Storm. This is an upcoming feature that will be released in a future build, uh, very soon, shortly actually. Now, this is revolutionary. What this will do is allow you to basically take your Photoshop imaging options to the max. Uh, you can do anything that your mind can think of now when it comes to imaging. What we're going to do in essence is show in this video how you can take simple Photoshop PSDs, so we're working with these two PSDs, and create multiple images and the images can be of any type and nature. So for instance using this PSD, so you can see the company name, we're going to actually create these five images so you can see here that each image is very different and using this PSD we're actually going to create these three images here now the number of images that we create is purely up to how you actually structure your file so new and export kit lightning storm and I'll actually just load this up and log in with our new smart images and that's kind of the tag that we've called it you can now in essence control your actual Photoshop image and now automate how the image will be structured in the output so in essence what we have now are what we call image tags so rather than the dollar sign this uses the at symbol this will actually structure your layers so that you can control them in your sim file your sim file is what we call our smart image manifest so we're gonna take a look at the price tags first and then we're gonna go ahead and look at our ABC cards so for our price tag this is a real-life scenario now in a lot of different situations and in this one in particular let's say you work in retail you might actually have a promotion or various different price tags and markups and prints that you have to actually uh, have done and you have to have the different designs for each uh, depending on whether it's a mock-up or it's a special promotion at the moment so what you can now do with export kit is you can design a single template so if you look here this basically has a uh, text layer for the company name it has a text layer for the actual price uh, it has a couple shapes here now there are a lot of options that we can do with our smart images but we're just dealing with these in particular what we can do with this now is we can actually control each of these elements in the output using a sim file so we're just gonna jump and we're gonna take a look at the sim file really quick so let's just actually load up a text editor now for this in particular we're using our price tag so let's just go ahead and open this uh, if you want to view this better you can actually use a javascript view now our sim files are structured in a particular way what we have is a sim to basically denote that this is the structure of the file you have an image and you can see here that we have multiple images now for each image that you denote this will be a file that is saved inside of an image what you can actually add is a layer and these layers now are actions that you're denoting to your Photoshop layers so I'm gonna go into these in a bit more detail so if we look at this file here we have our sim this is our general file we have our first image here we have our second image here and we have our third image and etc and it will continue down until the end of the file now you can see with each image there are different sets of actions so there's no limit to the actions that you can apply now to your Photoshop file so let's take a look at the actions in a bit more detail you'll see with our first image we have our layer and our layer has a name it's looking for company and the contents it's changing it basically to export kit so if we go back and we look at our PSD you'll see that company name the layer is actually company now again we've actually denoted our image tags with an at symbol and what this will do is change the contents of this to export kit now the next thing that we want to do if we take a look at our sim file we'll see that it's actually looking for sale price now you'll see that uh, sale and price is kind of split with uh, an actual backslash now what you can do is you can denote whether or not the layer you're looking for is within a folder so there's no limit to the folder structure but you have to denote it uh, specifically so here we're looking for the layer price which is within the folder sale and we're going to change the contents to 10 in the next layer we're looking for the layer save which is inside the folder sale and we're going to change its visibility to false now in the next layer we're looking for the BG and we're going to change its color to uh, white basically that's uh, the RGB now 
we're gonna list the different properties that you have access to this is just a demo video just to kind of give you an idea of how it works but there are six basic properties for each layer that you can change so if we go back to our PSD file and we take a look you'll see that we actually have our BG here this is a shape that we're gonna change the color and manipulate a bit we have our price here which we're gonna manipulate a bit again and we actually have our save content so you can see that if we just hide it, uh, this is actually our save itself. Now, if we go ahead and we load our SIM file, you'll see what Export Kit will do in the output. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete the current uh, FTML WW folder, and we're just going to basically start from scratch. Now, if we tab over to our images panel, you'll see that we have our smart images, which is one of the features of our, well, actually, our, one of the new features in an upcoming build of Lightning Storm. So, if we just select our manifest file, in this situation, we're looking at price tags. What we can now do is we can now export our SIM file and it will actually generate the images. Now, just to take a quick look at our manifest file one more time, so this is our actual SIM file, you'll see that we do have a couple of images that we're saving. Now, again the logic can be completely customized depending on your actual requirements but based on the file here and the more you use it and test it the more you'll understand so uh, don't it you know don't don't kill yourself over the way that it might be structured or the syntax this is something that we're going to explain on the website but what we're basically doing in essence is we're going to create a few different price tags uh, based on the actual sim file so in this case uh, we have a sale and we have different prices for different items so rather than creating multiple graphics and multiple PSDs we're going to do this using one PSD file so if we go ahead and we export our smart images you'll see that in the background it's actually creating the images so we can now go ahead and take a look at the folder and you'll see that what it did now is based on the settings of our sim file it actually created each individual image so for instance this is now a price tag for ten dollars this is a price tag for fifteen you save more for twenty five and for fifty also and whoa this is the best buy at eighty so again you are the designer these are just uh, example graphics that we created but you can now see the power and control that you have over your images using a single PSD file so now let's go ahead and let's take a look at the other PSD that we had which was our uh, ABC cards now if we look at ABC cards the structure of this is using image tags to actually control the individual layers now what's different with ABC cards is that we also control an image in this one as well now the structure of this again depends on what your requirements are so this could be any design whether it's a magazine whether it's a menu or a weekly flyer it completely depends on you you can now control the contents of your image and how they are output how well how it's exported actually so in this example what we're doing is we have our alphabet folder which is the, the simple icon in the middle let's actually just zoom in so you can see this better so this is our icon in the middle now inside of that we have our letter which is the symbol there and we also have a border and an image so if we take a look at this sim file also so let's go ahead and let's open it you'll see here that what we're doing and let's actually just colorize this so you can see it better we're basically creating three images and in the three images what we're doing is we're changing the contents of alphabet letter to and letter in the alphabet and we're also changing the URL of an image in reference to assets that we have now you'll see that the path of the images currently this must be relative to where you have the sim file located so right now we have the sim file located with our PSD so our asset folder can also be there as well so you can see the assets that we're using also uh, to generate the images so again this must be relative to the sim file itself so if we go back to Photoshop and we run this so let's just load the other manifest file let's go Now we take a look again you'll see this is a very simple Photoshop file it's basically empty but the images that we were able to process and generate now based on the settings are alphabet cards so you can see we have A for alligator B for B 
and C for cat. Now again, the number of images that you generate, it's completely up to you. We could have created unlimited with the SIM file. But you can now see that we are blowing image processing out of the water with Export Kit Lightning Storm. So download it, give it a try.